Hey there, CPO here. Uh, after church this morning, I had a chance to get out for a few minutes with the tricopter. And I just wanted to do some more flying with all of the stock settings. Um, I still haven't done any tuning. Uh, this is all stock with self-level uh, enabled. Remember, I uh, programmed my transmitter to use self-leveling as the default. And what I thought I would do is just mess around with it a little bit and see if I could confuse it or break it or whatever. So um, I, you know, was just trying a bunch of things, uh, throttle blips and, uh, and moving the uh, sticks, you know, uh, banging them uh, back and forth, uh, both with the, uh, the yaw control as well as... Um, you know, uh, elevator and uh, aileron controls, but um, you know, it actually uh, gives a good indication of how this tricopter flies uh, really well. Just like, I mean, if there was such a thing as out of the box, since it was all hand built, but uh, you know what I mean. Without any real tweaking or modifications, it's just all coming together really nicely. I did have one strange anomaly. Uh, where I'm not sure exactly what happened, and uh, I'll show you that here in a second. But for now, uh, I'll just let you, uh, you know, watch me play around and, uh, you know, fly in case you're interested. So coming up here, I have my strange anomaly, and I can't really explain uh, exactly what happened, uh, but just watch this. Uh, it just suddenly kind of dropped. The uh, looks like the right arm uh, dropped out. Not sure exactly what happened, uh, but to be honest with you, I went out and checked on it, and uh, all my uh, ESCs, the green lights were on. Uh, everything looked okay on the board, so I thought, what the heck, let's see if it still flies. And uh, picked it up like nothing ever happened. So I'm not quite sure exactly what happened to that. Um, I don't know if it would have automatically recovered. Uh, I was so close to the ground, it just kind of, you know, my springy landing gear just hit the ground and and the thing just kind of kind of rested and I went to check on it. If I was higher in the air, uh, I don't know if it would have recovered or not, but... Uh, strangely enough, I never had uh, another problem with it after that, so I don't know exactly what happened with that. I'm going to keep playing with it and seeing if I can recreate that again, but uh, the fact that it still flies, uh, you know, good for me. So you're also going to start to notice that my low voltage alarm starts to go off uh, as the battery voltage begins to decrease. It's about 30 degrees outside here and a little bit breezy, um, not great battery conditions, but I happen to know that my low voltage alarm is set a little bit high. It's set at uh, 3.85 volts per cell. Uh, so I, I've got a little more juice uh, that I can squeeze out of it. I have it set pretty high so that if I'm uh, you know, far away from me and it goes off, I can get back and land. That was set for my, uh, my Bixler 2 when I was flying it. But, uh, you know, so I'm going to ignore those beeps, and I'm sorry that they're playing in the background. I totally didn't think that that would be as obnoxious for you um, as it probably is. So I apologize for that, but I'm going to ignore it. All right, all right, I'm going to go ahead and land it here. So uh, I did get about um, seven and a half minutes or so, maybe eight minutes out of the flight. Um, not bad, it's really cold, so uh, I don't expect uh, tremendous flight times. But 
Uh, that's it. Uh, you know, I still need to tune it. Uh, I'm just too lazy to do it. I just want to fly it. Uh, and it flies so well uh, it was stock tuning that uh, I'm not as compelled to, uh, to go mess with it just yet. But don't worry. I'll get that done soon enough. I'm also going to do some other videos covering um, how I sort out the, uh, the center of gravity, uh, you know, before flight and all of that. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.